Hello, and today I'm here reviewing A Matter of Breeding by Michael Brando. So, I got this book free from Goodreads First Reads Giveaways. And I was super excited when I actually got it in the mail because I really wanted to read this book. And I give it five out of five stars. And I'll tell you why. When you read informational books, sometimes they can be boring as hell. They have to have personality and they have to have some attitude behind them or else they just fall flat for me. I'm a reader. I like to be engaged, entertained, and I like to learn new stuff. But if it reads like a biography, I am going to hate it. This book is so entertaining. I, I just, I, you can really hear the author's voice in this book. You can really almost, I swear, the whole time I was reading this, I envisioned his facial expressions the whole time I was reading. It was fantastic writing. The writing was superb. Now, who is this book for? This book is for anybody who gives a crap about dogs. And the title should tell you what it's about. It's about pedigreed, papered dogs. For so many years now, we have heard of dogs having, even, I remember this pet show that used to be on Animal Planet, Dogs 101 or Pets 101 or whatever it was, it would tell you what certain breeds were known to get as far as illnesses. And to me, it just, this book, what it said, it made so much sense. It was talking about how breeding and breed standards and breeding for the breed standards has harmed the mental and physical health of our best friends. Dogs are literally suffering because they are being bred to fit the breed standard. And when it really talks about attitude and how black labs and golden retrievers are suddenly becoming aggressive when they're supposed to be a very, very gentle breed from the beginning, or you see dogs who are constantly line bred or inbred. Line breeding is another word for inbreeding. And they're They've been done that way so much that they are no longer as intelligent as they should have been. And it was just a fascinating, fascinating book. I really, really loved it. It made me angry. It made me sad. There was a part where it was talking about a bulldog. And, you know, bulldogs, I, I, I don't, I'm not really attracted to bulldogs. So I had no clue that cesarean deliveries were common. That's how people get things done if they breed bulldogs. And that really bothers me. That's not normal. That That is not a normal life. I consider myself very, very progressive when it comes to pets and how very, very ethical on how you treat pets. I mean, you know, when people found out that Grain-free food was best for dogs. That's what my dogs eat. You know? It, that's just the way it is. So, when I heard that, I was like, that is not natural. That is not a natural way of life. And that really, really bothers me. And it should bother everybody. It really should. It should bother people. And because you know that when the when the breed was originally come up with, that they didn't have the medical advances that they have today. So how did they breed these dogs? Their heads must not have been so wide and their narrow, their narrow hips shouldn't have been. I mean, it's just, it's... Logically, this book makes sense. It makes perfect sense. So if you are a dog lover, I urge you to get this book. Because... We really should be accepting our pets as pets or as members of our family and not an extension of our wealth or our status. And that just, that really, really bothered me. 
I think it was my my mom has always said for years that a dog should be allowed to be a dog. And she said that people made their dogs neurotic because of the way they treated them or they um, confined them into areas where they shouldn't be. And she was more or less talking about people who wouldn't let their dogs, like, say, run in the mud or something. But it just, it kind of hit me when I was reading this book about how wise my parents were when they were raising me. Because my dad was always like, ah, mutts are healthier. They're, they're more sturdy. And my mom always came through with that. You should let a dog be a dog. They're going to roll in the mud. <laughs> but, so, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are a dog lover, you should really get this book. Because it's fantastic. 